Hey there guys, Paul here from TheEngineeringMindset.com. In this video, we're going to be looking at four different ways to control a light using three separate switches, and then we'll also look at two different ways to control a light with four, five, six, or more switches. This is very useful, for example, to control the lights on some stairwells to different floors, or perhaps from either side of the bed and one at the bedroom door, like you might find in a hotel room. In our last video, we looked at how to control a light with just two switches. Do check that video out if you haven't already, links are in the video description below. Now this system is called by a different name depending on where in the world you live. In North America, this is called a four-way switch circuit, and in the EU and other parts of the world, this is called an intermediate switch circuit. To make this circuit work, we require two different types of switches. We need a two-way switch, otherwise known as a three-way switch, and we also need an intermediate switch or a four-way switch. Again, the names of these switches depending on where in the world you live. On the front face of the switch, both switches look the same, but the two-way or three-way switch has three terminals on the back. The switch can be flipped only two ways, up or down, but the electricity can flow through the switch in four different ways depending on how it's connected into the circuit. The intermediate switch or four-way switch can also be flipped in only two ways, up or down, but on the back we find four terminals. The electricity can flow through this in 14 different ways depending on how it's wired into the circuit. I'll leave some links down in the video description for where you can buy both of these switches online cheaply. Do check those out. These intermediate or four-way switches have a very clever design. The switch has a mechanical component inside, which means that when the switch is flipped, it crosses its tracks to change the direction. These two tracks do not touch, they are kept completely separated. By crossing its tracks to change the direction, we can therefore divert the electricity and make or break the circuit. The color of the cables varies around the world. In this video, I'm using the European color code, but you should check your local regulations. We're just covering the theory of switching in this video, but you should be electrically competent and qualified to carry out electrical works according to your local laws and regulations. Electricity is dangerous and can be fatal. The first circuit we will look at is the simplest method and the easiest to understand. It's typically used for a new installation. We have our two three terminal switches at either end, and then an intermediate switch in the middle. We take our live and feed it into the common of switch 1. We then run a brown cable from L1 of switch 1 over to L4 of switch 2. We then run a brown cable from L2 of switch 2 over to L2 of switch 3. We then run a blue wire from L2 of switch 1 over to L3 of switch 2. We'll also place a brown sleeve at each end of the wire to warn that it is intermittently live. We run another blue wire from L1 of switch 2 over to L1 of switch 3. And then we run a final blue wire from the common of switch 3 up to the light. Now, when we turn the power on, the electricity can flow through switch 1 and 2 and into switch 3, but the circuit is broken so the light will stay off. If we then flip switch 3, we complete the circuit and the light turns on. If we flip switch 2, we cross the paths and break the circuit. If we flip switch 1, we make the circuit again. If we flip switch 1 again, then we break the circuit. If we flip switch 3, then we complete the circuit. And if we flip switch 2, then we break the circuit. This is the second method which is typical for converting an existing circuit. In this version we run the live to L1 of switch 1, and then from L1 of switch 1 to L1 of switch 2, then from L3 of switch 2 to L1 of switch 3. We then run a grey wire from L2 of switch 3 to L4 of switch 2. We'll place a brown sleeve on the wires to indicate that this is intermittently live. We then run another grey wire from L2 of switch 2 to L2 of switch 1. We then join the two end switches with a black wire to each common. We'll then connect the blue wire from L2 of switch 1 to the light circuit. When we turn the power on, the electricity passes through switch 1 and 2 and stops at switch 3 because the circuit is broken. If we flip switch 3, we make the circuit and the lamp turns on. If we flip switch 2, then we break the circuit and the lamp is off. If we flip switch 3, we make the circuit again. And if we flip switch 1, then we break the circuit so it can't reach the lamp. We flip switch 2 to make the circuit, and we break the circuit by flipping switch 1.
This method is a variation of the last one where we use the same cables but change their route a little. We have the live into L1 of switch 1, then a brown wire from L1 of switch 1 to L3 of switch 2, then another brown wire from L1 of switch 2 to L1 of switch 3. Then we have the grey wire from L2 of switch 1 to L4 of switch 2, then another from L2 of switch 2 to L2 of switch 3. We then have a black wire between the two commons and finally the blue wire back to the lamp circuit. When we power this circuit, the electricity flows through switch 1 and 2 but stops at switch 3. If we flip switch 3, we make the circuit and the light turns on. If we flip switch 2, we break the circuit. If we flip switch 1, we make the circuit. If we flip switch 2, we break the circuit again. If we flip switch 3, we make the circuit. And if we flip switch 1, we break the circuit. In this design, we're bringing the power and the lamp control to the rightmost switch. We run a brown wire from L1 of switch 3 to L1 of switch 2. Then another brown wire from L3 of switch 2 over to L2 of switch 1. We then run a grey wire from the common of switch 1 over to the common of switch 3. We then run a black wire from L2 of switch 3 to L2 of switch 2. We then have another black wire from L4 of switch 2 over to L1 of switch 1 and we finally have the blue wire from L2 back to the lamp. When we power this circuit, the circuit is complete so electricity flows through switch 3, 2 and then 1 and back to 3 where it will then feed the light. If we then flip switch 3, we break the circuit. If we flip switch 2, we make the circuit again. If we flip switch 1, we break the circuit. If we flip switch 3, we again make the circuit. If we flip switch 2, we break the circuit. And if we flip switch 1, we make the circuit. This method is the simplest way to connect 4, 5, 6 or more switches into a light circuit. It's based off the design in the very first method we saw earlier in this video. This is typically used for completely new installations. The power comes in from one end and the lamp is connected to the other end. This way allows any switch to make or break the circuit. With this method we can add 4, 5, 6 or more switches to an existing installation. This design is based on the third method we saw earlier in this video. For this design we just extend the black wire from the two common terminals of the end switches and then we run the grey and brown wires between the switches. This allows us to extend it as much as we need. Each switch can then make or break the circuit independently. Okay guys, that's it for this video, but to continue your learning, then check out one of the videos on screen now and I'll catch you there for the next lesson. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, theengineeringmindset.com.